Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I wanted to take the time to showcase assets that have recently hit the asset store. And we're going to look at several different categories for all of these assets. We're going to look at full game and character templates, terrain assets, general tools, characters, model assets, and different props, and then core visual effects or any specific shaders. And Unity do have a sale on at the very moment, which is called their asset refresh sale. And most of these assets that I show will be 50% off. So this sale does run from the 14th of February all the way up until the 28th. So I will put all the links down below and give you all the details that you need to know. We're going to start off this video looking at everybody's favorite, the insanely beautiful environments and massive model packs. Now, the first one is the Pure Nature 2 Mountains. This developer did create one for a meadow environment, which I'd featured a lot of times. But this one is stylized for mountains. It's got specific vegetation across trees, bushes, and different grasses, and various materials across this style. It includes a massive demo scene with custom shaders for rocks, water, volumetric clouds, and different things with color variations. And it's one of the most beautiful stylized assets you can find. Then we've got the huge playground post-apocalyptic, which is supported in URP, and it's a three kilometer demo map. So it has over 700 ready to use prefabs, 25 different buildings, houses, shops, warehouses, over 700 objects such as furniture, fences and debris. Then we've got the Platformer 2 Low Poly, which is a style similar to what you would expect from something like Fall Guys with 181 different assets for creating unique locations, three pre-designed levels with regular updates to this asset and more suitable for mobile VR. We've got the Horror Mansion 1 with a fully equipped 3D model collection with over 712 different assets, a full demo scene in a top-down style suitable where they need that for mobile VR or AR with graves, fences, vegetation, building assets, landscapes, and so many more. We've got the Mobile Environment Pack Reforged, the built-in and the URP pipeline, with over 800 different lightweight game-ready prefabs, LODs, and only one texture per material, so it's as light as humanly possible. I'm just going to finish off this section by saying there's two specific mega bundles from one developer. The first one is the Abandoned Post-Apocalyptic Environment, with five different massive collections of post-apocalyptic scenarios, and then the fantasy Souls-like Mega Bundle, which includes another five packs with castles, towns, and caves, and they both have incredible detail. So be sure to check those out too. And while you're checking out all these assets, I do have my Patreon, which has got over 225 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Let's take a look at some characters which have appeared on the store, which I think are great for a lot of different development scenarios. The first one is the Horror Villains Bundle, and these look like some insanely detailed characters. So it includes 12 customizable, rigged and ready to use characters, including a cruel doll, Punisher Priest, Raving Puppet, Foolish Goblin, a Killer Clown, a Savage Werewolf, and most of the characters are between 9 and 30 animations at each. Then we've got the Forest Animals 2.0, which is a large pack of animals with over 77 different variants and eight different styles with full sets of animations at each. This one is called the Anime Girls Pack, which is a massive, massive pack. And this developer does have smaller ones too. It includes 32 different prefabs across a various different Anime Girls style characters with 35 different animations for each with supported as a human eye character with eight different emotions each. We're going to take a look at a collection of visual effects and other assets which can really improve the style of your game. And the first one is actually something called the Gore Simulator, which is a really interesting one with sophisticated gore effects. So do look away if you're a little bit squeamish. So this is really easy to integrate in any project built across all pipelines. So it's got a skinned mesh cutting feature so you can use animation based characters. It's got multi cutting, stitching, physics ragdolls and particle effects. And it uses the job system and burst compilation, which is called better fog with height fog, light scattering and more. But this one's supported across built-in and URP. It's got screen space light scattering. It's got gradient fog colors. You can have skybox integration. You can have distance based fog, height fog, volume blending, transparent particles and effects and custom fog. And then the last one in this showcase is the advanced edge detection. So if you need a clear and other ways to outline objects and boost your game's visuals to create a unique style, and you can use this across built-in and URP, it's got depth fade, you can sketch and create hand-drawn effects. It's got masking, you can read the edges of different assets. And we're going to take a look at the terrain tools that I've picked out. 
And for the first one, we've got Gaia Pro and Gaia. And if you get Gaia 2023, which is for their terrain and scene generation, you can upgrade to Gaia Pro for a discounted price in the future. So with this asset, you can select the world size, the biome and the target platform, and you can procedurally or manually generate a base terrain. You can procedurally texture, plant and populate based on this. And then you can optionally export versions to optimize for mobile or different style RPGs. You can set lighting, water, wind, controllers, culling, and so many more with a click of the button. And if you want a more stylized version, something called Cozy Stylized Weather 3, which has got fully customizable weather-based solutions across all pipelines, and you can create weather patterns and game worlds from day to night with various seasons. And we're going to take a look at some awesome tools which everybody should get hold of. And the first one is Emerald AI 2024, which is a high quality AI solution, which has been around for many, many years before this with other previous versions is supported across all pipelines. And it's got 19 different example scenes, complete setup managers to create this in a fast and simple way. It's got support for modular actions for your AI, full strafing support, dodging systems, recoil systems, weapon collision, multiple weapon type support, modular abilities, sound detection, location based and the most quintessential fully featured AI systems you will find on the Unity Asset Store. This one is a bit of a mouthful and it's the Unity Text Adventure Game Engine. It's a tool for creating visual novels and conversation scenes so you can skip, read, save and load, you can backlog, use configure screens, even gallery modes and you can flag, manipulate and auto different branches. And it has full things for 3D model displays, particle displays, eye and lip sync, sprite animations, transitions, and everything you need for your own visual novel. We've got a cool little tool here, which is called Scene Notes. So if you want to add little notes, which integrate into your 3D space, if you're doing level design or you need to give it to another team member, you can put little notes in the 3D world to exactly what you need these things to be. So if somebody else uses it, they can click on it and you know exactly what you needed to do. Next one is the SRP Material Converter. So this allows you to create from HDRP to URP to HDRP to built-in and so many more. So you convert between the pipelines. It will use your materials and be able to create those seamlessly so you can switch materials really, really easily. The next one is the Mobile Ads version 2. So this is an integration whether you need Ad Colony, Ad Mop, App Loving, Iron Source, Unity Ads, whether it's across Android or iOS. It supports banners, reward videos, app opens and so many other in-app services that you need and we've got the heat which is a complete modern ui system which is a complete system with fully customizable panels rich ui components complete solutions demo scenes support across all pipelines controllers consoles and platforms core templates or character creation assets we've got the 3d roguelike rpg complete template if you've ever wanted to create a roguelike game whether you need enemy ai props potions chests puzzles traps sound effects a third person style camera and many many more it also includes a bunch of traps puzzles fighting mechanics lift systems door mechanics and so much to gather loot and other great systems we've got the modular multiplayer fps engine this has got everything you need to get started with your own multiplayer fps and you can also use this for single player based games and it's got a variety of different multiplayer setups which include the server the connections the lobby and the relay it's got a bunch of different game modes I've got a full weapon system all player features for swimming footsteps stamina and player model customization. Then we've got the 2D platformer engine, which has a fully customizable 2D side-scrolling character, which includes movement, jumping, crouching, wall jumping, gliding, stamina, slopes, grapple hooks, fast diving, footsteps, and so many more. It's got full systems, which include weapon systems, health systems, inventory, interactions, camera effects, enemies, and loads of features which are fully drag and drop to get more effects in there. We've got the VR Multiplayer FPS Kit, and this developer has spent over 400 hours of development time creating this. So if you need a VR solution, a multiplayer shooting game, this has got it all covered with loads of different weapons, loads of different ability to control all the different firearms, the attachments. It's got a fully fledged XR rig with player movement, snap turns, dodging indicators, and loads of things that you need for your own multiplayer game. 
So I do hope that you find this selection of assets really useful because a lot of these I've never seen on the asset store before. And remember the 50% off for this period? I'll put all the links down below. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thanks to Pete Steiner and all the rest of my patrons. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.